so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you um, an upgraded version of the project is called java uh, blood bank management project in java so as we have that project already but it was in the old uh, jspn servlets and uh, it's, it was using that uh, uh, netbeans id and this time it's built on the maven and following the well architecture of the co-source code so uh, let me show you the project over there no, i don't want to run it again Cancel it. so if you can see the project is available here it's following that complete mbc architecture it's a lot pro project when you right click on the project and go and run as and run on the server is called tomcat so see the front page of the project so this is your welcome page here is a, some dummy sliders there with some dummy images you can uh, check this one and at the very home page you can search a blood donation according to the location for example if i enter here in those so this the, the data will come here and uh, let's talk about the database and the roles so i'm gonna move to this database it's kind of blood bank bb bank new one yes so here it contains the five uh, database table the first is blood bank and hospital organization b role and the user so there are four types of user the first one is admin and so the role id will be one and the customer so uh, sorry second one is a hospital choice from the hospital so for the hospital account the role id will be two and for the user the role id will be three and for the any organization or blood bank the role id will be three so let's log in with admin first and let's see how can uh, what kind of functionalities admin can perform so, so here is uh, here uh, we have the drop down with sign in and sign up button when you click on the sign in it will redirect you to over the sign in form and if you are going to click on the sign up page it will redirect to you register a new as a new user so when i click on the sign in and i'm going to sign in as an admin then see your home page and admin can search a donor according to the location so the location is available and all the details about the donor is available here so next is here admin can add a hospital he can view a new user of the hospital and uh, you can add a new hospital there so to add a new hospital there will be a name like hospital i'm gonna add some demi data and i'm gonna enter some demi data here and the password will be demo at the rate one two three again demo at the rate one two three and the contact number of that hospital is gonna hit five eight five zero and city for example Bhopal and the address is I'm gonna click on the save button and the data is saved successfully now let's see the hospital table the data will be updated there you can see the new data here so we have two hospital one from Indore one from uh, Bhopal right now so if you're gonna see the hospital list now you can see the new data is there if you want to edit every admin wants to edit and for example I want to complete this hospital and I just edited the record and again check the hospital list and this time the data is updated you can update the record accordingly you go uh, you can search the hospital here as well as, 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 as a name and uh, you can reset it you can select it you can perform the delete operation if you want to create a new hospital you can go there I mean admin can go there similar functionality for the organization or you can say for the blood bank uh, admin can add a uh, organization or uh, admin also can uh, perform the operation over the uh, organization so we can add a new organization he can check the existing list of the organization same for the blood bank you can add the blood bank and and he can view the list of blood bank available in the database same for features he can perform like edit update and delete uh, to get the detail of blood bank so uh, the next and previous button is disabled right now it will be available when it uh, comes to when it comes to the data and you will reach more than five um, more than five or ten entries so this is this is all about from the admin side and now i'm gonna log in as a user or you can say 
as a user yeah then we'll go with hospital then we'll go for organization so as a user i'm going to log in and the password is user at the rate one two three here so when i sign in as a user and a user can search a donor according to the location he can add a new blood bank and blood list same he can perform all the operations like delete update and it's as, it's as it is as an admin now let's go with the hospital so a hospital going to log in and let's see what the hospital can perform so hospital can similarly add a blood detail and you can search the donor available search donor so you can go ahead and search location you can view the list here and you can search by the name you can edit the record you can delete the record as a hospital and if i talk about the um, organization organization also can perform his activities so this project is completely built on uh, mbc architecture it's using the maven tools and uh, and if you want to understand some source code like how you can view your codes here if you are if you're gonna buy that project from the code one and will provide the complete configuration at your machine once the configuration is done you need to understand something that uh, every student ask me like uh, what are the source code is doing and what is the source code flow so uh, it's not possible to for me to give you a complete explanation of the code in such a short time it will take like uh, uh, lots of days to build this kind of code so so to learn uh, this code it will take more time huge time so i can give you an overview how the things are working so when you going to uh, when the configuration is done and you can see that project in your id and just open this src main.java under the there there is under the controller these are the all servlets file which are working at the server side and uh, under the model mo most common question i get like uh, what are the database connectivity you are using so inside this model package we are using database connectivity so this model package is responsible uh, for the database only so whatever the perform per operation we are going to perform as a to get the data retrieve the data and insert the data we are using this model so you can check the model or uh, you can see here all the queries are there and triggers queries and triggers are there to get uh, retrieve and write the data there if i talk about the front end as a front end we use the css for the designing purpose javascript for the validation purpose images to add the images there and the main part is jsp so th this is a jsp which contains some short code of the java or some mix up code of java or html you can say so to handle the things about the header there is a separate file for header so it will work for the complete header of the application and the footer is there which will responsible to handle the complete footer of the uh, of, of the application so i'm gonna edit this it's kind of blood blood bank and it's gonna 2019 okay and uh, you can see that as 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 nam shows you welcome.jsp it means it will be your first page and if you want to edit some data here you can edit this welcome or welcome to blood bank and user registration page it means it will be your registration page search donor it will be your search page search view page organization page organization list view and uh, according to your name, name you can understand these things and here are the pom.xml which is responsible to manage all the libraries and as you can see we are using mysql so mysql libraries is there servlets are there and all the required libraries will be there so uh, we are deploying the project on tomcat server and the tomcat version should be like 8.5 and the java version is required 1.8 and it will work with sts eclipse on netwin and if you wanna import this on STS, that will be good. If you are going to use uh, NetBeans, then you have to make some changes in the code. So if you need this code from the code one, so you can check the plan list and uh, uh, you can ping me. You can comment me or you can ping me over the my contact ID. This jcode one at the red gmail.com will provide the complete ID to you also. Uh,
will pro provide complete detail and I'm going to show you the services and plan we are providing um, to give you that code and all if you want to take the source code and if you want to project source code uh, bit database and the lifetime access actually uh, whenever you come and you ask for the project we are providing the source code complete source code with database it's a, which is a, a bunch of rar file and which we send you over the mail and we have a step by step configuration tutorial to configure that project at your machine and 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 we are we are providing a project report also so the cost will be for these items will be 800 and uh, you can you have to configure this thing uh, by your own if you want like our team member will configure that project at your machine remotely using any desk or team viewer so we'll do one time configuration at one machine then the charges will be 300 extra like uh, it will take hardly uh, 30 minutes if you have good card mm, a good uh, internet connection we will provide every needed software will 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 install every needed software will configure it and will show you the uh, live demo to run the project uh, and and if you want to understand the code so it will take like one hour classes or two hour classes then the classes charges will be 500 for now so in this class we will cover introduction about the using technologies in the project what are the mpc architecture what is the maven tool and how can we perform the database connectivity with mysql how to deploy that project on the tomcat server and code flow and detail explanation of all the packages so uh, you can take it uh, watching uh, thank you uh, thank you so much for watching if you need this just comment me below or you can contact the below detail like we'll provide the uh, let's check the description box there will be a link which we you direct uh, will redirect you to over my contact detail thank you